So by default, you should have a main camera, but if like me, somehow you've deleted it, it's not an issue. We can see here in our game view, we've got no camera. In our hierarchy, we can just right click and come down to camera and we can create a new one. So I'm just gonna go to the position, hit the little gear icon and go to reset, which will then just put those transform units back to zero, zero, zero. So it's the center of the world. And then I also just need to change the tag back to main camera and I'm just going to rename it main camera as well just so I know what it is. So now I've got my main camera in the scene this isn't actually the one that we're going to be using. What we're actually going to do is create some cameras using Cine Machine uh, to basically produce a fly through there which will be kind of linked to the main camera. So what we need to do is create a empty object and I'm just going to rename this cameras for now that'll do and that's where we're going to house all our digital ones now what we need to do is also create ourselves a timeline now there's multiple ways to do this as with anything but one of the simplest ways is just to select cameras and then just hit create down here. It will ask us where we want to save it. I'm going to create a new folder. Timeline. Open it up and cameras timeline, that's fine. I'm just going to save that there and then that generates our timeline. Got camera animators and then that is linked to this here and you'll notice here playable it's got camera timeline down the bottom an alternative way we could have done it is to just go to create timeline in our project and you can see the timeline that's a folder that i've just created i've got a new timeline that's just generated there now i could create it from here and then that with camera selected drag that new timeline into playable and it's got that there um, but i'm just going to stick with what i had and just delete that one for now. So there's multiple ways to do any one thing. So now that I've got that there, but it's important to know kind of where it's being stored, I can go back to my timeline, but you'll notice that every time I click on something else, it's asking me if I want to create a new timeline, which is not what I want. So with that selected, I'm going to hit this little padlock, which means that it will remain on that no matter what I select. So the next thing that I want to do is go to Cinemachine and create a virtual camera. When I do that, you'll notice a little icon appear here, which on the main camera is actually the cinema, Cinemachine brain. And what I could have done is selected the main camera first, add component, typed in Cinemachine and added it individually, but it does it automatically for me, so it doesn't, don't really need to worry too much about it. But essentially what that means, is that this is now going to inherit the properties of my virtual Cinemachine cameras. So you notice that my main camera here has now moved to match this view. Um, and I've also got that set at 69. And so if I just zoom out, you've got my main camera there, which also matches my Cinemachine camera. So, oops, if I move my Cinemachine camera, the main camera's moved as well. But what this enables me to do is that I can have multiple cameras that will be kind of controlling this main camera, uh, which is really useful for when we're doing various different kind of cutscenes and stuff like that. So I've got this one camera and I've got it in position. Now I might want to generate a second camera and I'll just go to Cinemachine and create a virtual camera. So now I've got two cameras. And what I'm going to do is just shift select them both and drop them into my camera's thing just so I can keep it nice and organized. So I've got my one camera and you can see the main camera is kind of following that. But now I've got my second camera. I'll move this around or alternatively, I can move over here and then press control, shift and F and then my camera will actually align with my viewport. So I've got camera one, which you can see here, and then camera two. At the moment, camera two is what we are seeing here. I could go to camera one and just solar it, so we can see that camera two, 
up my wand. So you can see the two different ones there. But at the moment it's difficult because it's just one or the other solo and that's just overriding whatever's in that. So what I need to do is come down to the timeline and I can drag that main camera onto the timeline and go to add cinema machine, add cinema machine track and it'll bring this in, cinema, main camera cinema machine. Alternatively, I could right click and go to add cinema machine track and then you'll see it's got none and then I'll have to drag that and drop that in as well. So you may as well just drag it in from the beginning. Um, I don't need this one, not for now at the moment anyway, so I'm just going to delete that. And I've got my main camera here. Now with this, I can right click and go to add cinema machine shot, come in here, and then with the cinema cinema machine shot, it's a bit of a tongue twister, I'm going to come up and select my virtual camera one. Sorry, drag and drop into the virtual camera slot there. So I've got cinema machine camera shot one here which matches the name of this because I've just dragged it in. And then I can right click and just create another one. Cinema machine shot, so you can see it there. And it's got the little warning triangle because it's not got anything attached to it at the moment. And then highlight it, drag and drop that into the virtual camera and then it will rename it. So if you rename these accordingly, if it's flyover, drone cam, whatever it might be, it just helps keep things organized as well. So now I've got these two shots, I can flip between the cameras on the timeline. So that's now it becomes something far more practical. Um, and at the moment, we've got two cameras at the side of the map, but if I want to kind of fly between the two of them, there's a really quite simple way of doing it. I can just drag this and blend the two shots together. And now I'll move from camera one to camera two. So if I just hit play, we've got our first fly, fly through camera. And if I wanna just alter that shot just a little bit, I can go to camera two and which is down here and say I don't like quite so much of that background so I'm going to just drop down a bit pitch the camera say there control shift F There you go, so it's on the camera one at the minute. So um, let's just readjust slightly. There you go, so you can see it. Um, and then just bring that back over. I accidentally adjusted the first camera. So let's come back over here. Camera one. and now that will fly through. So that is your first fly through camera. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. So once we've got that, we can then render that out.